Here I have a Panasonic model number PV-1560. It uh, doesn't display a video, or, it, or I should say it does it randomly from one tape to another. It might display some sort of video, but not a clear image. And then another tape might not show any video at all. So I think it needs uh, some cleaning, uh, some belts checked, maybe the mode switch checked. But uh, I have a video here that, uh, of course, can't be played on YouTube. But I'll stick it in and show that nothing comes on the screen. Hit play over here. This particular VCR, back in the 80s, uh, I saw an ad on uh, the internet for when this first came out. It was a close to a $500 VCR. So, I guess it must have been a good one back then. It's a forehead, wireless remote. So you can see nothing shows up on the, on the screen. It doesn't even get a signal sent out of it. So uh, we'll see what kind of a job we have ahead of us. Uh, let's tear into this and uh, see if we can get it cleaned up and fixed and get an image on there. So here's a look at the inside. It's a uh, pretty busy looking circuitry over here. Got the power supply, the tuner. This here says it's the uh, chroma circuit. Uh, it looks pretty clean for, I was uh, told, sitting around not being used for many, many years. Before that, it was used all the time, recording all kinds of movies and stuff like that. But uh, you can I'll put a tape in, you can see that everything seems to be moving properly. Loads perfectly fine, easily, easily. Uh, hit the play button here. Grabs the tape, wraps it around real nice. No weird, strange noises. Seems to be looking pretty good. But, of course, no video, so we'll definitely clean it up and I'll uh, give you a little tour of the backside and what that looks like. Let me stop this here. Eject tape out. So you can see, mechanically, things seem to be working fine. But uh, there's definitely a problem, as you can see. We'll flip it over here and get a look at the back side. You can see on the back side here that the, uh, the plastic over the years is uh, discolored. You can see even on the metal it's discolored around there. The belts actually don't feel that bad. Um, you can kind of feel a slight bit of dryness but they seem pretty tight so we'll just let them go for now we'll uh, probably still end up replacing them but probably clean up the grease over here and put us new grease in and here's the back panel of it you can actually see that it even left marks on the back panel from the years of use and got some discoloration rainbow looking colors here but uh, so there's a peak uh, on the back. Quite a big, quite a bit of circuitry going on here. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll get cleaning this thing up and clean all the heads and everything on the other side. Start with that and see if we can't at least get a video plane, and then uh, go from there and find other little bugs here and there if there is any. But uh, I'm sure a, I'm sure a good cleaning will will help it out a lot. So here's something I was given 
along with the VCR. Something you don't see too often for a, uh, a VCR that was made back in 1986. This, uh, this person kept in good condition the VCR and the full owner's manual and the remote control. How often do you see that? So you can buy each one of these separate online now for some people are selling the manual for 20 bucks and the remotes for 40 bucks. Uh, the VCR itself I haven't seen them at all on there. Maybe one or two, but so I'm gonna point out some areas on here what uh, what should be cleaned with alcohol. What I use is uh, I have some of these laying around, and I was using these to use them up and get rid of them. Elk, just alcohol swabs. Use these along with some Q-tips to go and clean the areas in here and uh, get it all ni nice and spick and span. So I'll uh, I'll point I'll take this cover off here, and I'll point out the areas that should be cleaned. Uh, really well so this way your tape doesn't get uh, held up or slowed down and and uh, stop it from playing correctly having a nice clear video on your BC on your TV so I'll go ahead and take all these screws off <laughs> So here we go, we have the top plate disassembled, removed, and uh, I'll point out with the circles on the screen the areas that need to be cleaned. Important point when you're cleaning the head itself, you don't want to use any kind of pad or anything that are that is going to catch the head itself because you will break the heads guaranteed so the best bet to do to clean this is soak a regular white sheet of paper just a little piece of paper you can hold in your hand soak it with alcohol and hold it on there and uh, spin it and that's what we'll do to kind of give you an idea on that So here I have a piece of paper, this writing paper, nothing special about it. Opened up my alcohol pack. I'll squeeze some of the alcohol on the piece of paper, get it nice and drenched, and then I'll hold this piece of paper gently up against the side and spin the head in the direction that it spins when it's playing a video. And just apply a little pressure to it move the paper just a little bit at a time so it gets a nice cleaner area and you might have to do this a few times to make sure that you uh, get it nice and clean I already cleaned it so we're not seeing anything on the paper but it, the, the other one that I had was uh, pretty dirty and be sure when you get done cleaning all this with your alcohol that you let it sit long enough to for all of it to dry completely. You don't want to throw a tape in there right after you get done cleaning it, otherwise you might as well say goodbye to that tape. Alright. So that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna clean it. And I'll uh, I'll finish doing that and we'll get this back together and then we'll try it out and see what the video looks like. So here we have the finished product. It looks like it took quite a bit of cleaning on the places that I showed you. And uh, I cleaned up the belts a little bit, wiped them off with some alcohol just to get the dirt off and 
and I put those back on. They seemed good enough to, to continue using. And you can see the picture is pretty clear for as old as this unit is. We got the door open here. You can see all the different stuff you got down here that you can mess around with for programming your channels, your tracking, uh, slow tracking, your soft and sharp picture control, your speeds for your recording, clock, still, slow and advanced. So it's got quite a bit of features on there and even has a little bit of little bitty light in there to where you can see the name of the tape, whatever you have, uh, whatever tape you have in there. So this seems like it's uh, it's an older tape, so it has a little bit of defects in there, but uh, this is something I took when I was at the ocean one night, uh, actually out on a date. Uh, so this is my video, I won't get in trouble for playing this, but uh, that's it, I, this is, uh, I'm considering this a done deal here. and. Uh, I'll give it back to the owner and uh, I'm sure they'll enjoy it. So uh, I guess until next time.